United States trained the rebel new Syrian army in hopes that it would be a formidable opponent to Islamic State jihadists. But in its first serious test, an offensive near the Syrian border town of Bukamla, the rebels appear to have failed. Islamic State took much of the oil-rich desert region straddling the border between Iraq and Syria in 2014. On Tuesday, the new Syrian army announced an operation to wrest control of the territory near Bukamal. The group said on its Facebook page that the campaign was launched in conjunction with Iraqi pro-government forces storming the Iraqi town of Qaim just across the border. The two towns are a crucial link in Islamic State's self-proclaimed caliphate. The next day, Elmec, a news agency affiliated with Islamic State, said the jihadists had killed 40 members of the new Syrian army and captured 15 in a counterattack on the defunct Hamdan Air Base northwest of Bukamal. See the most read stories in world news this hour. Video posted by the news agency showed jubilant Islamic State fighters parading in trucks sporting the new Syrian army's insignia and fawning over heavy weapons and ammunition belts apparently captured in the fighting. One militant is shown mutilating the corpse of a rebel fighter and cutting off the head. The new Syrian army withdrew from the area, marking the latest setback for U.S. plans to train and equip Syrian rebels capable of battling Islamic State militants. Previous iterations of the program were widely ridiculed for producing minuscule numbers of capable fighters who were easily overwhelmed by Islamist factions wary of U.S. intervention. Many rebels were also reluctant to enroll in any U.S. effort, because of a stringent vetting process meant to detect any Islamist sympathies and because of U.S. insistence that trained fighters concentrate on attacking only Islamic State. The new Syrian army, however, had promised to be different It first appeared in November 2015 with the stated goal of pushing Islamic State out of the eastern Syrian desert. Since then, its fighters have shown up in slickly produced videos uploaded to social media that depict uniformed men training with U.S. weapons. Analysts say the group, which is headquartered near Tanf, a southern town close to where the borders of Jordan, Iraq and Syria converge.